welcome to this tutorial about how to make a camera in Lightwave 3D Editor. So in Modeler, I'm just going to create my camera and then you can animate in layout. So first I'm just going to use the box tool and in my front view I'm going to create the front of our camera and just play with the box until it's about a reasonable height and depth and then once you have something you like press the space bar and that just confirms that so this is the base for our camera now we're going to create the shutter so we're gonna go to the disk tool and holding the control key we're going to create the top of our cylinder and adjust the size I'm just going to change into wireframe. And pull it out a reasonable distance for a shutter. And once you are satisfied with your size and width of the shutter that you're going to use, spacebar. Now for the next step, I'm going to use the bevel tool. And so in the multiply tab, we're going to first select the end of our shutter in polygon selection mode. So the end of our shutter, go to bevel and click the numeric requester. <clears throat> First, we're going to inset it a little and then right click outside and then we're going to shift it in until, as you can see over here, the circle is going back into the shutter just to create the illusion of depth. And keep scrolling until you're a reasonable distance into your shutter. Then right click. <clears throat> now we're going to create the lens. So we'll inset it just a little. Right click. Shift it a little. Right click. Inset it and shift it. Right click and then keep doing this until you feel that you have a good lens. Inset, just again, inset, shift out, right click, inset, shift out, right click, and space bar, and zero, and then just space bar will exit you out of the bevel tool and confirm. So now if I deselect everything and zoom in on our lens, we have many different layers to it.
Now I'll just zoom out by pressing A. And this is our shutter. The next thing we're going to do is <clears throat> the flash. The flash is one of the simple steps. So we're just going to go to create a box and input the proper dimensions for our flash. That, except moving it back in and just check if we have good depth and once you have something that you like again spacebar and then check your depth so now this is our <clears throat> front of our camera so now we'll move on to the back so the only thing we need on the back is our screen. So we want our screen to look like this. We'll use the pen tool and just draw the outline for our screen and then just keep adjusting and moving the points until you get something that you like so I just want to move this in to create the rectangles to make the rectangle smaller and when you're done press spacebar and press T for move And then we'll move it to the back of the camera. And right there. Now we're going to move it down a little until we want until we have what we want. Now the next step uh, is going to use the extrude tool. So we're going to go to uh, deselect all. Well, first uh, spacebar to get out of move tool. Deselect all. Go into polygon selection mode. And then click in the multiply tab over here. Extrude. And extrude is like a rise effect. So we'll just give it very minimal height and depth, but we still have to give it some height and depth. And once you have something that you like, a space bar, and this is just a good check, uh, click one of the polygons, then click the right square bracket key and this should select everything that's connected then press Q for surface and type in a uh, screen and then set it to a very bright color this just checks that we extruded it right. So now we can press T for move again and move the extruded object just barely out of the camera. Press spacebar and deselect all. So the next step now is to do the buttons. For the buttons, we're going to use a disc or cylinder again. So disc tool off the create tab. And in the top view, we want our, and holding control, we want to uh, adjust the size for our buttons.
and just keep adjusting it until you want until you have the proper size so i like that and then i'll s and then pull it out to give it depth and then as usual when you're done press space bar uh, now we're just going to change the surface to the default surface. So select a few polygons, click, click the right square bracket key, then press Q, and instead of screen, go to default. Okay. And then uh, deselect all. So now we're going to bevel again, except on a much smaller scale. So we'll select this top polygon, go to multiply, bevel, hit N for the numeric requester again. Uh, we want a very, very small inset. And then a right click. And then shift it inwards. At about five or six centimeters. Then right click, then inset it a little, right click, and this time set the shift to a positive value instead of a negative one, and set the inset to zero. And set the shift so that uh, it, you have two layers. So now press spacebar, and as you can see, I'm just going to deselect all. It goes in, then out, and then back up. So this is pretty much the effect that we want. And so now that we have the basic shape of our camera, And now we can start texturing. So I'll start with the lens. I need to zoom in for this to make sure I select everything. And keep selecting and once you let your mouse go you have to press shift and press and hold shift until you've selected everything so now once you think you've selected everything press a for full view and then deselect everything on the outside so that only your lens is selected now we're going to go to the image editor over here and click load 